Perfect. Good morning, Tiffany. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having me. We're very excited to talk to you as well. And uh, you came as a very high referral from a very dear friend of both of ours. So um, I'm very excited to talk to you about your program and, and I've been looking at it as well. And it's super exciting. Thank you. I'm very excited about it. It's uh, it, it gives a lot to me as much as you know we're trying to give to others you know and that's the funny thing i've i've discovered with everything that we do and everything that we talk everybody we talk to that's in the service industry is they um, come up with that same attitude of i get more out of it than anybody else and i just hope somebody gets as much out of it as i do and so i, I love the attitude i absolutely love the attitude so let's just jump into it tiffany can you tell us a little bit more about yourself and how you came up with the idea of using diving to help children Absolutely. It, it's, it's a little bit of a long story. Um, I started diving not, not very long ago in 2021. We, my father had passed away. And so when he passed away, we we're, you know, digging through all of my mom and dad's old stuff and um, realized that my mom and dad were both scuba divers. And my dad was actually an instructor for, um, for quite a while earlier in life. So that is how my parents met. When my dad passed away, my mom decided to have his ashes made into an artificial reef and dove down off the coast of Vancouver Island. So that's kind of what sparked my interest. I was very, I very much wanted to be involved and be a part of that. So initially uh, I decided that I was gonna learn how to dive because I wanted to do this one dive. Um, I took, I started, I did my diving course and was very blessed to have some incredible instructors um, that continued mentoring us long after our course was over. So uh, we subsequently learned how to dive and just completely became enamored with it. Uh, during that time, there was a lot of stuff going on, a lot of heartbreaking stuff going on. Um, with, you know, there's, there was the Every Child Matters movement and, you know, there's a lot of people struggling in our area and my husband and I just were trying to think of, you know, what, what can we do to help? Uh, and so we came up with Into the Ocean Society because we just felt like, you know, everybody should experience this and being on an island um, and having our waterways and the Salish Sea so important to our everyday living, we just felt like everybody should be able to experience that. Uh, there's definitely an economic challenge to scuba diving for many people. And so we just kind of wanted to bridge that gap for some young people and provide some opportunities for them. So that's kind of how Into the Ocean got born. Um, and, you know, we've been working with it ever since and with help from friends and family and community members and the scuba diving community on Vancouver Island. Uh, we've been able to do a lot of fundraising and do a lot of events. And so uh, we had eight kids last year that we ended up getting certified. Um, seven of them are still diving and we've got, you know, some of these kids are, are just incredible. The skills, they're so adaptable and their skills have, have increased so much. Um, and then this year we're going to be putting at least another eight kids. We're hoping to increase that to maybe 12 kids this year. Um, and then, you know, just continue giving them diving opportunities throughout the year. That is amazing. So your dad was made into a reef. That's the he first time I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> that is, I think I found the new thing that I want to have done with my remains. I, I want to be a reef. Um, <laughs> It's very cool. Go ahead. It's it's very cool, you know, and and being there and being able to um, to lay him to rest at the bottom of the ocean was an incredible experience. My husband and I were there. We actually had our instructor came along just as as a safety diver because she realized that we might be um, somewhat distracted. So you know, she she came and watched out with us and. And uh, it was just a, a really great experience. The rest of my family was in a boat on the surface and they threw out some roses and stuff on the water. So when we came up, there was roses all on the water and stuff. It was, it was very cool. That is amazing. So tell me a little bit more. 
so you get in this, this diving, you're very excited. Your parents met with this. Um, it's very personal and I can, it's very, I can see this is very uh, meaningful you, to you in a very deep and spiritual way, which Absolutely. scuba diving certainly has that aspect of it as well. And that's something big for my wife and I as well. But mm -hmm. you suddenly decide that children, we want to help children make it past that gap. How did ocean uh, into the ocean really come to be at that point? Um, I, I don't, you know, I can't really pinpoint. It was just, you know, us thinking about what we could do to help. And, and my husband and I, you know, we had, we had a tough childhood. Um, you know, unfortunately I have my sister struggles with addiction issues and stuff and, and a lot of stuff that came up from her childhood. And we just felt like, you know, if, if we can, if we can find kids that are, are struggling and, you know, still have a chance given some opportunity and some direction and some mentorship, mm -hmm. you know, maybe we can help point them in a direction that makes sense for them. Uh, again, especially where we live, we're, we're surrounded by water um, with our lakes, our rivers, the Salish Sea. Uh, so there's just, I felt like there's just a lot of opportunity and, even even if they even if these kids decide to not necessarily pursue diving um, as a career or as something, uh, just the benefits from learning to dive and taking a course, the benefits to uh, psychologically and you know the empowerment that you get from diving, I feel like uh, can benefit everybody. So. Um, yeah, we just kind of wanted to be able to to involve people at a crucial time in their lives where, you know, if the tables are turned just slightly in their direction, then they might achieve great things. And I have no doubt, um, I've already seen just in our first year of running these programs, I've already seen these kids uh, I can't, I get a little bit of emotional talking about it because they've impressed me so much and um, the stuff that they're doing and just, you know, watching them come out of their shell and watching them develop their skills. And it's, it's been incredible. And, you know, we've had kids that just in their regular life, I've seen changes and we have one young man who's interested. He wants to be an RCMP diver now, you know, and so just, these ideas that are popping into their heads that are so incredibly achievable for them. Um, and, and they're all such hard workers. So it, you know, it's just, it's great. It's great to watch. It's great to, you know, walk through that process with them and get them out on the dive sites. My goals are that they're always going to be better divers than me and that they're always, you know, that they're going to, reach for the stars. And I have no doubt, you know, we're going to be seeing them in magazines and in the future, seeing them get interviewed like I am right now and, you know, just doing great things. So. That's amazing. So in your community, you've started bringing these, these kids in that certainly may or may not have that opportunity to get into diving because it definitely does have a cost prohibitive nature to it. Yes. Um, between the training and the gear and the gear and the gear and the gear. And, and did I mention the gear? Um, <laughs> the There's a lot of gear involved. In There's a lot of gear involved. Absolutely. And it's not inexpensive, unfortunately. Yeah. So what benefits have you noticed in the community, though, through this program? Uh, well, specifically the diving community, I've really noticed um, it's brought a lot of people together. We We have... We have dive days with the ITO kids. You know, I get so many, so many people wanting to dive with these kids and wanting to help mentor them and stuff. Um, we've had great get togethers. We've had get togethers where there's like 30 divers that show up. And so everybody really um, has been really supportive of the program and really wants to, wants to help out where they can. And it, it brings a lot of people together within the community at large, um, these kids, you know, they were doing a lot of fundraising stuff. We're also trying to do a lot of service work. So, you know, they're always batting around ideas, like let's go do a lake cleanup in our community, or 
let's do, you know, work on a recycling program and, and those sort of things. So they're very active, um, both with helping us fundraise, with bringing our diving community together, with doing cleanups and that sort of thing. Um, they're talking about potentially uh, working this year to raise money for both into the ocean and for um, for our local clubs, you know, and partnering up with different associations to uh, just to help benefit everybody in the community. So we're still we're still very young, you know, we're still very much in our grassroots phase here. But uh, yeah, the the idea is coming out of these kids and some of the stuff that they've already done has been incredible. So I have no doubt with the ideas that they bring me all the time that we're going to be doing some pretty cool things with them. That's exciting. Exciting. So I've noticed, so I've, as you might know, I'm an instructor. And I, so I teach everything from open water all the way through tech. And I've noticed that the kids who come through my class, um, I'll, sometimes they start out fairly timid, but by the end of the class, they blossom into these amazing flowers of, of confidence. Can you tell me about the psychological benefits you've noticed with the individuals and um, how that helps their self-esteem and what you've noticed? Absolutely. Um, they definitely come in very quiet um, and, you know, might not know each other, things like that. So, and that, that changes. Um, I really love, you know, when we're, when we're bringing in new people to all of a sudden the kids that have been around for a while, they really, jump right into that mentorship attitude and, you know, they want to help all the other kids. So we see them go from a shy kid who doesn't know anything to blossoming, as you said, and then, you know, very, very organically moving into more of a, a leadership role as they go along. I've seen, I, I noticed them in their, in their daily lives as well. We have one, one kid, one young man. I'm. I always call them kids. They're 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 youth, um, but they're my kids. Uh, but we have one young man who's taken up um, sword fighting, and he wear you know he so, and these are things that he had he had done previous. So he's branching out in his daily life too, and he actually. Uh, so he did this sword fighting in complete armor, which I don't even know how he manages to do that. So, um, but he won fourth place in his national tournament and was offered a trip to Spain to go fight in Spain. Oh, wow. um, and, yeah. And, you know, this is, this is a kid I've actually known for quite a while. And he, um, prior to that, you know, he didn't have a lot going on and he was having a hard time in life and now just, all these incredible avenues are opening up for him. And yeah, I'm, I'm very, I'm very proud of all these kids. Uh, so, and you know, seeing things like that is just incredible, incredible to watch. Now you just need to combine sword fighting and scuba. He can be a secret agent. Yeah. Well, you know, I try and I try and think maybe, you know, having to carry around all of that gear that we were talking about, perhaps that's given him a little bit of strength to carry around all that armor. I don't know. <laughs> there you go. It's it seems like really different, but I, I like it. I like the uh, the branching out of the children into different uh, different dynamics and different avenues, and and wanting to explore because that's really the kind of the heart and soul nature of of diving, isn't it? It's the exploration. What's is um, as Natalie told me yesterday. It's about what's behind the closed door, and I loved that. Yes. All right, and so you're giving these these kids the opportunity to see. There's a closed door, but you can open it and we can explore what's behind it. Let's find out how exciting. It is. So I would imagine that this has got to have helped with things like schoolwork because uh, scuba is about physics, science, math, uh, physiology. Um, how, is it, how have you noticed them in their school education? You know, that's honestly a good question. And that's probably something that I would really love to talk to their teachers and stuff about. I don't I don't have a whole lot of insight as far as their schooling, but I have, you know, I have spoken to some of the parents and I've had comments about, you know, they were they were a little bit worried about the trajectory that their kids were on and, and their kids seem to be more focused now and that sort of thing. Um, I 
I'm I'm kind of a mom in this program too, so I'm always telling my kids like your homework better be done, and you you know I want to see you doing good in school, and um, and I get really excited for them when they do get good grades and that sort of thing. Um, you know it, it all that stuff. They they work so hard. They work so hard at getting their certification and. And not only just getting their certification, but afterwards honing their skills and stuff. And so, you know, I think that just automatically transfers to everything they're doing. Once once somebody's got that seed of hard work planted into their head um, and they realize what they can achieve with that, I think that it kind of branches out into everything that they do. Absolutely. And, and from our side, um, you know, I'm an instructor. I'd be happy to do a, an evening of science and diving uh, for your young man and, and uh, or your, your kids. I'm, not sure, I'm hoping there's some young ladies in there as well. But we're happy to, to volunteer that time and you just let us know. That so would be amazing. We would happily do that. And I'm sure Jill would probably uh, be willing to help with that as well. Um, she'd be a good one to tap into. But uh, and sorry, Jill, for putting you on the spot, by the way. Um, <laughs> Um, no, thank you. <laughs> let's talk about um, how you approach mentoring these kids. What's your approach? What does that look like? So, I guess right right from the beginning, part of part of the curriculum, um, we don't we don't like doing the online theory thing. So so right from the get go, we get them in the classroom, um, and and we teach their theory, and we have we have somebody working with them and answering questions. So it's um, more dynamic than the computer online version. Uh, so throughout their course, you know, they're, they're always working with somebody. Once their course is finished, uh, are the people that we have instructing for us are incredible. Um, they come out on dives all the time with these kids. And so we, you know, we just, we don't want to offer an accreditation or, you know, they, they get their open water and then we never see them again. So part of our program is really making sure that we, we bring them back as much as possible and get them into the water with us as much as possible. Um, partly because, you know, we want to see them develop um, and partly because we want to make sure that they're safe and that, that their skills are, um, are as such that, we don't have to worry about them in the water. I do, I am um, like, I do, you know, they're, they're my kids as, and I, I take it very seriously and I want to make sure that they're safe. Um, but, you know, and then just trying to provide really cool diving opportunities, like diving some wrecks in the area, you know, diving, diving places. It's hard to find a bad diving spot on Vancouver Island. So just trying to get them out as often as possible to as many sites as possible. Um, also, you know, trying to do community diving events where they can get to know other divers in the community. Uh, we really push hard to try and get all the youth, whether they're an ITO scuba diver or whether they've learned independently at a shop, you know, we invite all youth out to come dive with us. And so, and just having, you know, an incredible group of volunteers that, that want to dive with these kids and that, you know, are always, everybody's so positive and always giving these guys good feedback. And I get, I get a lot of feedback on the dive site. It's like, wow, these kids are really good. And I'm like, I know <laughs> they are really good. So yeah, I, I guess, I mean, the mentorship program really, it's really uh, very much parallel to the mentorship that I received from my scuba diving instructors. And I don't think you always get that out there. Um, you know, there's a lot of, unfortunately, because there's a lot of people out there diving that, that learn and go through the shops and stuff that the instructors don't always have the opportunity or the time uh, to be able to mentor people like that. So I'm very grateful for the instructors that I had. Um, I still dive with my diving instructor all the time. And so I'm very lucky and that's the experience I'd like to provide for all these kids. 
amazing. Um, and I love that, that you still dive with your own instructor and that you're, you're introducing your kid to the same instructor that you worked with. And uh, on, a, on a same note, the, uh, when I started diving, uh, my instructor owns the shop that uh, I, I currently teach at. And, and I've been able to get the point where we're at level parity in terms of open water um, uh, instruction. And I teach everything the same as he does now. Uh, we're at the same level and we can teach the same things. Uh, the only difference is now I've, I've surpassed him and, and I teach tech. So he's become my student in technical diving. So it's it's amazing when you build that relationship that becomes parity like that. I love it. Yes. yes. So what, what does your process look like? So a young man, he's having trouble or, or uh, is interested in this. Um, you spot him. How does that process look like from beginning to a uh, confident leader in your group? So once we meet a person and they seem like a good fit for the program, we bring them in. Uh, we'll do a discover dive day in a pool setting with our instructors just to get them used to the equipment and and see what their comfort level is and see if they're really enjoying it. And then from there, if they really do enjoy that and they want to pursue getting certification, then we will work with them and get them into the course and get their open water certification. Uh, after that point, we just dive with them for the year and get them out as much as possible. And then if they stick around and they're enjoying it and they want to keep pursuing, uh, this year we've got three people who are ready to do their advanced open water. And so, and then, you know, and we bring them back. We like to get the kids that have been around for a while diving with the newer kids and so we can buddy them up together. And so, you know, the younger kids kind of have a mentor and some of the older kids. And then uh, and we just like to keep going. If if I have my way, we're eventually going to have some of these kids will become instructors and knowing the instruction that they've had, uh, kind of the same thing as me, you know, they'll be able to copy that going forward. And some of them might be ITO instructors one of these days. That would be amazing. Absolutely. Um, so tell me about your biggest success story. Who, what does that look like? And who, who is it? And what did that look like from beginning to end? That's a hard question. Uh, again, because we're still kind of in our infancy, uh, I can't pinpoint one success story. I, I mean, the, our, our one kid who's diving with us all the time and is going to Spain to, you know, to do fighting competitions, that's amazing to me. Uh, one of our, our youngest kids, or in fact, our youngest kid is him and his brother are some of our best divers and they are the kindest, greatest kids. I tell their mom all the time, I'm going to steal them because they're just incredible kids and their, their diving abilities in just, you know, it, just over the year are, are incredible. I mean, they're, they're going to surpass what I do by miles in their lifetime. So, uh, you know, I think those three kids are probably, you know, my greatest success success stories, but I don't want to take away from what the other kids are doing too. You know, they're, they're coming out for dives and they're, um, they're good divers themselves. They're maybe, you know, they've got a lot of other things going on in life. And so they maybe aren't coming out, able to come out quite as often. Um, maybe they don't, pester me to go diving quite as often, but they're still in their own rights, great divers. And, you know, and they've taken, they've taken the courses and they've developed their skills as well. And so I think all my kids really are success stories. I think the minute that they get into that open water course, um, to, to being able to finish that out because it's a, it's demanding when you've never dove before, you have no idea what to expect. You're underwater. People are asking you to take your mask off underwater and, you know, throw your regulator, your lifeline out of your mouth and then recover that. That's a lot to ask somebody that's never, you know, been diving before. And the fact that they, 
the fact that they get through that and get certified to me is an incredible success story. That's awesome. So donors are a huge portion of this process. Can you tell us um, who is your biggest sponsors and uh, how they, how are you supporting them as well? I think honestly, at this point, I think, you know, it's friends, family, and the diving community. We've done, we've done a lot of work, you know, at the local pub doing meat draws and that sort of thing. Um, and I think most recently I'd have to say it's the diving community, uh, that's come out. And then I have to give props to Jill Heinerth because she's done a lot for us in the last little while. Um, she came out to the Island and spent a week with us and dove with many people in our community and, uh, just created an incredibly inspiring week on the island here and we still have lots of people talking about it so um but i'd have to say you know as far as financially and as far as their time put in the diving community um and then i gotta give props to mom too because my mom is incredibly supportive of this program so you know she's she's done a lot of volunteering and time so yeah it's it's hard to it's hard to pinpoint. I mean, there's so many there's many people at this point that have contributed. Uh, we're we're making moves, so we're we're right now a registered nonprofit. Um, we're kind of making moves to get our charitable status, and so we're just you know seeing where all that takes us at this point. What are the future plans for um, into the ocean society working with the? Uh uh, scoop divers and in a positive act, um, environment, what are your future plans? I guess. My goals are very lofty for into the ocean. Uh, I, you know, my future, future plans would be to continue developing the program and to just reach as many kids as we can possibly reach. Uh, eventually we'd like to get to a point where we can start we have to, we rent gear right now, so that can be a challenge sometimes. So I think one of my immediate goals, other than getting more kids involved, would be to be able to provide, have gear on hand uh, so that it just makes the logistics much easier for me to get these kids into the water. Um, it's a lot of work right now. I have to, I have to drive an hour away, keep my fingers crossed that the gear is available at the shop pick up the gear, bring it back, get all the kids together. So it's, it's a lot. Um, so, you know, my husband was kind enough to buy me a sea can that I can dedicate to into the ocean, um, with all our gear and stuff. So now I just want to fill it is really my, my most immediate goal. That's amazing. So what's on the horizon? What, what are you looking to do this month and next month? So, on the horizon uh this month we're we've got a couple of dives planned next month we've got our uh first we've got four kids doing the advanced open water course so i'm very excited about that uh we've got uh come august august september we'll be running our this year's open water courses so for all of our new divers and then I guess throughout the winter, we'll be diving with them along with the kids that have come back or that are still around from last year, I should say. So those will be kind of, that's kind of our program, um, fundraisers in between all of that. And then I guess for myself personally, I'm currently working on my dive master certification. So I keep going with that as well as uh, I've been working on side mounts. So I'm gonna keep going working on that as well and yeah so there's a lot that's awesome <laughs> hopefully well, i'm good. hoping at some point i can quit my job and just die full time <laughs> that's that's the dream for a lot of us that's yes. for sure <laughs> tiffany thank you for coming on today i appreciate you this was definitely informative and helpful thank you thank you thank you for sharing ito with all of your listeners absolutely so there you have it uh tiffany with into the ocean now that the information is going to be in the description below. Please, please, please go on, help, donate with your heart, donate with your wallet. More importantly, donate with your time with this organization. It's worthwhile. What they need, 
They need money. That's the easy one. Um, they need gear. That's uh, it should be a, a kind of a non uh, not or a non no brainer for that one as well. Uh, donate with your heart, your and your wallet. And if you have extra gear, send it to Tiffany. Um, I'm sure her young uh, uh, men and young women would definitely appreciate some gear as well. Um, take that time. Uh, we're going to definitely support this out. If you're an instructor out there, um, reach out to Into the Ocean and offer your time. I mean, it doesn't have to be a paid certification, but an hour or two with these kids via Skype or, or, or a medium like this would definitely pay dividends in their lives. Um, the more we can get into these young people, the better off we're going to be, the better our community is going to be, and the better we will be as people for helping them. So again, my name is Benjamin Hatfield. I'm with Teach Me to Dive. I'm a technical dive instructor and I help connect divers with agencies, with dive shops, with instructors, but more importantly, try and help the community build and grow more. Again, check the comments. You're gonna find there's going to be, their website's gonna be in there and all the information you need to be able to reach out and help them. Again, thank you so much and make sure to subscribe because we've got a lot of great things like this. Um, you may have guessed, Jill Heinrich is coming on for an interview. She will be the second week in June. Um, we've got uh, Natalie uh, Lesame, one of my favorite people in the world. She's coming on. We've got uh, Stephanie Carney from ITI um, is coming on. We've got uh, Jennifer Idle, uh, one of my favorite people to dive with. She's just fun, a great photographer. Um, first woman to dive all 50 states in the US. She'll be on this summer and interviews like this, so please. Take the time uh, to subscribe and hit that like button so you can find out more about these kind of things and give to Into the Ocean. Thank you so much.